Oh man, it's part two. This is a little bit tougher. This is uh, mass to moles or moles to mass. So we're gonna have a little bit more numbers to deal with. Okay, so here's the first question. We have barium sulfate and cobalt bromide reacting to form something. Uh, I'm assuming this is a solid over here. Okay, I don't know why I didn't put that. Okay, so this is a little bit easier question because it gives us a reaction. We should double check if it's balanced. It is. And let's write down what we know. So we have more stuff to worry about in this question. Okay. Let's write down what we know. It says we have 2.3 moles of cobalt bromide. Okay. Well, oh, there's cobalt bromide. I'm going to write down 2.33 mole cobalt bromide. Okay. Then it's saying what mass of barium bromide is created. Oh. I'm going to go question mark, grams, barium bromide. Okay, I know that's aqueous. We're just going to pretend we can measure <laughs> aqueous. <this>. Anyway, <laughs> now, do you guys remember what we talked about in the last unit or the last video? What goes with mass? Mass and molar mass go together. Oh, more work. So I don't need this substance. I don't need to calculate its map, molar mass because I don't have a mass variable that matches it. <clears throat> this substance, on the other hand, I need to calculate its molar mass because there is a mass variable that matches with it. So I need to calculate the molar mass of barium bromide. So bromide is 79.9. There's two of those. So 79.9 times 2. Get that right? Yep. And then I'm going to add that to a single barium, which is 137.33. So I get 297.13 grams per mole. Now I'm going to do an annoying thing this entire unit, but you're going to thank me because it makes, it makes finding things to cancel a lot easier. Those grams are grams barium bromide. And that mole belongs to barium bromide. Yes, it's a little messy, but it's really important. Now, what two entities are we comparing? We're comparing these two. So what goes in every stoic problem in the box? The mole ratio. One mole cobalt bromide for every... <laughs> this is a one-to-one -one thing. One mole barium bromide. Oh, you got to love it when it's one to one because it doesn't change the math uh, at all because a one over a one doesn't change your math, but you need those units to cancel out for uh, the, the first unit analysis. Okay. So just like the last, uh, just like the last video, we have to start with the variable that the question's asking us to solve for, right? And it's asking us to solve for mass barium bromide, right? That's, we wrote that down, mass barium bromide. So we try and find the mass. Nope, nope, nope. There it is. Had we not calculated the molar mass of barium bromide, we would not have a gram of barium bromide to help solve. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the molar mass of barium bromide. 297.13 grams barium bromide per mole barium bromide. Okay, perfect. Now we've used that. It's gone. We can't use it again. It's one single use item. Okay. All right. Uh, now we got to get rid of moles barium bromide on the bottom. Okay, right. That's We, we want to isolate the grams barium bromide. We want to keep that variable on top. So we have to get rid of moles barium bromide. So of my remaining, that's not moles, barium bromide, that's not, oh, there it is. Oh, but it's on the bottom. So what do we do to this fraction? We flip it, flippity, flippity. Okay, so we have one mole. Yes, I know mathematically this does nothing, but it's really important to get the units right. Okay, what cancels? That cancels. All right, now, using my little blue thing here, we have moles cobalt bromide on the bottom. Okay. Oh, once we use this, we can't use it again. So by process of elimination, 
The only thing that's left is the moles that were given for cobalt bromide. So I'm going to put those on top. 2.33 mole cobalt bromide. And that doesn't have a friend, so I can just say it's over 1. Just like if I need to flip it, I could go 1 over 2.33 moles cobalt bromide. Cancels. So mathematically, I'm literally just timesing this number by 2.33 because all of those 1s don't do anything. 2.713 times 2.33 gives me 692. Three sig figs? Yep. 692 grams. It's pretty heavy. Okay, one more example in this lesson. All right, lithium chloride and zinc borate to react in a double replacement. Hey, that's nice it's a double replacement. If you have 45.6 kilograms of zinc borate, how many moles of lithium chloride are required? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. Okay, well, let's just start writing this out and see what happens. Lithium chloride. Lithium chloride. Uh, it doesn't say the state, so who cares? And it reacts with zinc borate. Zinc is 2 plus. What the heck is a borate? Borate is, oh man, borate is three negative. So if borate is three negative and zinc is two plus, we need three zincs for every two borates. Okay, double replacement. So metal switch, <clears throat> we get lithium borate and zinc chloride. Tricky one to balance. <clears throat> looks like we probably have to, what's that? I think if we put a two here, that balances out the borates, right? Two there, two borates. That makes six lithiums. We have three zincs there, so three there. Ah, now we're balanced, okay? Okay, so let's start writing down what we know. We have 45.6 kilograms of zinc borate. 45.6 kilograms of Zinc borate. Okay, how many moles of lithium chloride uh, are required to react? Oh, so it's on the same side. That's funny. Okay, there are a couple things I'm missing. Where do I need to calculate molar mass? Where do I need to calculate molar mass? Do I need to calculate the molar mass of this? And the answer is no, because I don't have a mass variable that matches it. Do I need to calculate the molar mass of zinc borate? And the answer is I do, because this is a mass variable. Mass and molar mass go together. So <clears throat> that's a bit of a pain to calculate. Good thing I'm doing it for you. 6541 times 2. Whoop. Okay, and then I've got, nope, times 3. Whoops. Zinc is 6541 times 3. Okay, and then add that to borate. Uh, 1081. Okay. Uh, and then I've got 6 oxygen. Six, two, okay, I get 313.85. And that's grams per mole. But that's grams of zinc borate per mole of zinc borate. What am I forgetting? I'm comparing these two. So I need mole ratio. Put that in the box. And the ratio is 6 mole lithium chloride for every 1 mole zinc borate okay because that's the what we balance it for all right let's start to solve this what does the question want us to solve for <clears throat> well i'm use my little blue line here we need to solve for moles of lithium chloride so i have to find moles lithium chloride nope nope now that's a mole but that mole belongs to zinc borate so i can't oh moles lithium chloride so I, i'm actually going to start with the fraction <clears throat> six mole lithium chloride for every one mole zinc borate. Oop, that's BO3. 
I dyslexically mixed up those numbers. B032. Okay, perfect. Can't use that anymore, right? Single use. Hmm. All right, I gotta get mole zinc borate off the bottom, right? So I wanna keep the mole lithium. I gotta get rid of these, right? Did I bring that over? Yep. So whoa! Slow down, speed racer. I want that blue line. So mole. There it is, mole zinc bor. Oh, but it's on the bottom of the fraction. So I have to flip the molar mass. Mole zinc borate over 313.85 grams zinc borate. Yeah, it's a big pain writing down this, the, what the thing is, but it's important. Moles cancel. Okay, that's gone. Now, I've only got mass left. Oh, no, it's in kilograms. Don't worry. Let's see what happens. Let's put that on top. 45.6 kilograms zinc borate <clears throat> over one. And the grams cancel, and you're left with a kilomole. That's a thing. That's okay. A kilomole exists. Just like a kilogram or a kilometer, right? Or a kiloliter exists. Okay. So two times 45 decimal six divided by 313.85. Okay. I wind up with 0.872 kilomole. Now, if you don't like kilomoles, you could time, you could have times this by a thousand to get grams. So you just times this by 1,000 to get grams, and you'd have 872 uh, moles, right? The, it's the same thing. They're, they're the same thing. It's okay. All right, so that's moles to mass or mass to moles. So there's a little bit of extra variables that you have to add for those problems.